So step one was research, lots and lots of research, trying to figure out the different methods, what was most cost effective, what I would personally be able to accomplish, and I ended up deciding on going with the uh, Pepakura method. And so I borrowed Caboose's laptop and her printer and downloaded, I, it took me a while because I was originally looking for the Mark VI armor and I couldn't find a full set of it. So there was a specific character I had in mind, not technically Master Chief, though I will eventually be doing Master Chief. Um, I was going to do Church from Red vs. Blue, which is what this is going to end up becoming. And I just, I couldn't find the Mark VI anywhere. I could not find a full set. And I'm digging in, so I was like, screw it, I'll find whatever full set I can get my hands on, I'll do that, and eventually I'll get back around to church. About halfway through stage working on that current armor, I found all of Mark VI. It took me forever, but I finally found all the pieces for it, so I was like, do a little dance of, do I go back and start over again from scratch, or do I just continue with what I'm going with? And I end up switching over. I had a small child interruption. Okay, so first after research, next step was getting into my supplies. So I end up with a bunch of 110 weight cardstock, laptop printer, and ended up with lots and lots of basically these. And I would spend hours and hours and so many hours um, cutting out these lovely sometimes tiny little pieces and getting your folds right and slowly piecing things together and I've got a few videos and clips of those Imagine that required quite a few late nights, so you know, good thing coffee is already my best friend. I started getting pieces, whole pieces together, ending up something with something like this. This unfortunately did not fit. I had to resize again because there's no, I haven't found a 100% sure way of resizing. There's something that's usually typically works but it's usually there's just some pieces you're just gonna have to redo it eventually so I ended up with pieces like that and then I have a couple more pieces and eventually I finally got my whole set from head to toe helmet chest plate all the way down to the feet plates finally got it done Agent Isn't that the soldier from the That was resin. And that was such a fun, smelly stage. Um, honestly, surprisingly, it didn't take very long. Um, I thought it would take longer than what it did. But unfortunately, it's taken me a long time to get anywhere past that because the weather has been very uncooperative in my little corner of the world. It has been humid as 
words I shouldn't say because my small child will come out of the door anytime now. But because of the high humidity, things wouldn't dry properly, so I had to keep putting it off and putting it off. Finally, it's starting to dry out, cool off, and I can get back to work again, which is a good thing because I'm on a time crunch to get finished. So, I've done my first set of res coat of resin. I've got some pictures. Got my helmet here. Nice thick coat of resin. Honestly, probably a little too thick, but hey, it's my first time using this shit, so hey, I'm going with it. See, mixed paper, nice and firm, nice and hard. brings us to today where today I'm going to be taking fiberglass cloth and laying it on the inside to reinforce the shapes. As you can see right now there's nothing in there just the paper. Not very strong that way and so I've already taken my fiberglass cloth and I've worked it down into small more easily easable what, what's the word I'm looking for? Easy to work with stretch uh, pieces. I could honestly probably make them a little bit smaller but I'm kind of trying to dance a line between small enough to work with but big enough for it to not take a million hours to get it finished because again I'm on a time crunch now. So I'm gonna get started on that and we'll see how it ends up afterwards.